Airstreams! Oh my gosh! Yeah, we had four in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Airstream after Airstream. I'm hey so guys, good. so if you're not familiar, we are Liana and Mike of the Dry Campers. Yes, yes, yes. we are. We travel the country upfitting. Yeah, I was going to say, what do we do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we travel the country upfitting RVs with solar and lithium systems. And that's, that's how we make our living. Yep. So this is a 2018 Airstream. 30 FB Flying Cloud. Yes. So this this couple, um, they actually came to us via another client of ours. They had met in, I want to say maybe Montana, but I can't really remember where they actually met. But they met them actually in 2020, and they were super impressed by the other install that Mike had done. And they contacted us and said, hey, you know, we want to kind of cut the cord. We want to get out there. We have two girls. We want to show them the, the country. And, you know, we don't want to have to be in these busy RV parks. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> and so we connected with them and Mike always does the best that he can and creates a great package for each client. Mm -hmm. This one has, you want to tell them what they have? Yeah, they have 10 Renogy Eclipse solar panels with a curved bracket on the outside edges. Uh, is this the first one they'll see? Yep. Yeah, first one they'll see. It's not the first one that we have done with curved brackets, but it's the first one that you guys will get to see the install for. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. Yeah. So um, on that, basically what we do is we put the curved brackets on the outside edges so that it, it raises the panels from being like this to up more flat so that you get a little bit more, uh, a little better performance out of them. Um, but anyhow, thousand watts of those, uh, 10 of those. Then we come inside to four Battleborn 100 amp hour batteries, a 3000 watt multi plus inverter, a Victron 150 slash 85 MPPT, and a 712 Bluetooth dongle. And do they have oh, easy yes, starts as well? They do have easy starts. <laughs> I always forget those, but yes, they have two easy starts. So Pretty they, much every install that we do has easy starts. Sometimes we just yes. forget to say it, but yeah. we always recommend if you want to run the AC on your system, you have. Yes, even with a 3000 watt inverter, if you don't have an easy start, um, it will, uh, the MultiPlus goes into fault because it can't handle the punch from the uh, compressor of the, the AC unit. So. so what would be the reason that you choose the Renogy Eclipse panels for our clients? Well, a recent video from Will Prowse basically proved the reason that I've been using those panels for about a year and a half. Um, they overperform so they're rated at 100 watts and in will prouse's uh video with he he had the panel on the ground it was tilting um i think it was 80 85 degrees outside something like that um i don't even remember what the temp was but he got 109 watts out of a 100 watt panel which is nine percent yeah. consistently yes yes uh which is 109 percent so i mean that's that's just fantastic so um, to put that into optimal conditions terms, if you have a thousand watts on your roof and you hit optimal conditions with the angle and everything is just perfect, um, that's like having a whole, almost a whole extra panel worth of power out of 10 panels. So, yeah, absolutely. So we tend to also over gauge maybe i don't know I, obviously we, you over gauge the wire but you also over gauge your mppt and why is that oh so let's say that he has a thousand watts and a 150 slash 70 is rated for 1000 watts so if you hit 110 percent you're not going to get all of that power because the mppt won't it, it's not rated to perform at 110 percent it's rated to perform at 100 percent so if you go to a 150 85 yeah then you have the ability because it's rated for 1200 watts so technically on that system you could go 20 percent over and you wouldn't max out the equipment so and we never want to max out the equipment you know we've, we've had a lot of people you know here and there especially like diyers um 
you know, they'll, well, you could have saved, you could have saved your client money had you used a different MPPT, but we would actually be hurting our client if we had given him, told him to get the 150 slash 70. So right. it's, you know, it may cost a little bit more, but it's, it's worth like a hundred dollar difference. Yeah. Like a hundred, maybe $150 difference. Well, it's worth the performance. I yeah. mean, you know, we've had consistent clients actually, um, you know, reach out to us. So, um, actually like is there something wrong because i have 1340 watts uh 1320 watts on my roof and i hit 1400 and something yeah you know it's yeah so both i mean actually so we we tend to use the renegy plus panels and we use the rec and peak panels yes. and we have had that situation happen with both panels yep so uh you know that's the reason that we choose those panels and that we you know over gauge the wire and we use the appropriate mppc airstreams are known for you know very little story space. We know. Yeah. <laughs> We've had two of them. Yeah. The first one was a tin can submarine. The second one was a wide body with a slide out, and it still felt tight in there. Yeah, for it sure. Was, it was like night and day comparing the two, but at the end of the day, it was still pretty tiny. Yeah. So, um, we, you know, storage in an Airstream is like, I mean, gold it's, it's for a commodity. clients. You know, yeah, it's a commodity for sure. So, we always regardless of whether it's an airstream or whether it is you know other clients it's regardless of the type of rig everybody wants to keep their storage which is why you normally use the unused manufacturer cavities but what does that mean especially for airstreams that really does mean that you know you've got to be super you know interesting in where you fit these things and then also uh you know running your wires and the wiring you know that was an interesting Yes. So issue as well, right? So running the wiring in in airstreams is always uh, challenging, but it's extra challenging whenever you're trying to run the wiring and you have ducting and plumbing and drain lines and all kinds of other things in the way. So it, it makes challenging extra challenging. So on this one, whenever we started taking things apart, we had found some ducting that was pinched in multiple places. And it just made more sense to us to go ahead and remove the ducting out of the way, put the wiring in, fasten it to the floor uh, for our harness, and then put all the ducting back. So whenever we uh, approached the, the client about the ducting, he was telling us that in the back half of the RV, uh, where his uh, two daughters sleep, it was horrible. Uh, they would get almost no heat back there. Uh, whenever they were, uh, well, whenever it was cold. Yeah. So whenever we put everything back in, um, I haven't gotten an update yet. I'm going to have to reach out to him and ask, but uh, we put the lines back in, made sure nothing was kinked. And um, so hopefully the daughters are much warmer now. Yeah. So. so then you ran your, your wiring up to everything in the front storage compartment, which is where the client and Mike discussed that these items would be. And they also discussed adding some issues that might have well might occur well um with it being there yes so if you pack all the equipment in there and the reason that we chose that front bay is because he was thinking about adding two more batteries in the future so if we had a would have put the batteries where the last customer that we did the flying cloud for um there's there's no four batteries is it that's that's all that's going to fit in that space yeah and then um the equipment all being in one tiny little spot i mean it's obviously going to heat up and we yeah. we had discussed it we said you know hey while we're here let's 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 drain the batteries like way down and the victron uh multiplus creates the most heat whenever you're charging uh, or if you're really inverting a heavy heavy load uh sustained um but it right away it went into some heating issues and we had given him the the fans because i didn't know exactly where since it was under his bed and the under the bed storage lines up to his um 
basically his dresser because <laughs> the, the whole unit all the way around it was filled with clothes and stuff like that. So I didn't know exactly where he wanted to uh, make penetrations and stuff like that. So um, he said that he had some ideas. We had talked about it and he said that he was going to put the, put the fans in and the venting in. So whenever you generate heat, the heat has to go somewhere. So then comes, it's this just dominoes. So the next thing was, is on the side that everything vents on is the wife's side of the bed. And apparently it was generating too much heat because <laughs> now it was a constant bed warmer. But she, you know, Julia was, she's very crafty. Um, and she yes. is very, uh, she, she, I, I would say she's probably one of the best researchers of anybody I've ever seen. <laughs> um, but recently, she decided to go with a Friley system under her mattress, which is really cool. So you guys should probably check into that if you are interested in something like that or even having a cooler setup for your mattress. So she was able to do that. And I believe they have solved all of their heating issues. Only two dominoes. Or they can they still have the cool system and can use that and go off grid and then you know now they have the comfort of everything so yeah so thanks so much for joining us again on another video and we actually had a couple of cute little uh, helpers throughout so you'll, you might see them here in the drone video and we uh, those are Alicia's boys, Liam and Payson, <laughs> for anybody who yeah. doesn't know. Yeah. And uh, we will catch you guys on the flip side. Excellent. Thanks for watching. This thing on. Uh, yeah, we're recording. Golden. Oh, we're doing selfies. Sorry, I'm over here eating my hair. Yummy. <laughs> here, hold on. I gotta flip my hair. Oh, that was so hot. I got it on film too. I can show other people.